Hi friends, today I am going to discuss about how to import Postgre and SQL data into Tableau Desktop. So this is at your PC admin for Postgre SQL and here you can see database Postgres and here public and inside you get to table EMPL. Now if you scroll down, so this user and level Postgres. Okay. So this I'm going to use inside to Tableau Desktop. So here is the Tableau Desktop. Now here to a server. So here you could not find any PostgreSQL. So I'm going to click on more. And here you can see PostgreSQL. Click this. Now here the server name that is localhost. And automatically it's uh, taken port 5432. Now here you can use uh, user and password and integrate it. So I'm going to use username. So uh, username and password. So right here. Oh, this is the username. So how you can find the username? So here login and group. So here you can see this user is there. Now here after the next is about the database. So database. So if you scroll up here you can see at this place. Here or database inside post. Okay, post case is the database. Now here after give the or password. So at the time installation of our post case. SQL here you can here you have to give the username post kit and keep the password so the same password you should keep at this place now uh, if all the information is correct now click on sign in so right here this is executing query process request So I think uh, all the information is the correct. So and here it's uh, connected with post key. And here you can find this is the table. So this table that I'm going to track inside there. So EMPL table, if you want to see the record, either you can just click this. Here you get the EMPL table records. Okay. Now here after the next is if you click update now so this is the record inside here. Now here after let's go to our seat place and here this is the inside EMPL. So what I'm trying to do so first I'm going to drag EM or department ID at this place. So right here this is the department and here only one this is this part is the enable. Okay. Now here after you can track multiple column at this place. So right here let's so track employee ID. So in department 10, so 200 employee and here 20 to employee ID and 30 this employee ID. Like this if you want to track the name. So here you can see 30 and here this is the employee. And here 41 employees Susan and 15 this all are employees. Now here you can if I'm trying to you wanna use this so right here one of more dimension one measure. So from here you can track the measure. Okay, let's so uh, or track the higher date. So higher date. So here you can find in department 30 the name of employee 10 higher 2007 and here like central 2018. Like this, you can use at your phone. Now, here I want to use some this uh, themes. Okay, so for this, we need to track the measure. So, if I track the measure, automatically some themes are enabled. Now, here you can use whatever you want. Okay, so this is so uh, at your uh, seat one. So whatever you like, you can select the things. 
So I think this is the good. Now here or oh, this is at your hide it detail. Okay. So at here, here you can see on 2007 high date and here this is the salary 11,000 of uh, employee dam. Okay, this high on 2007. So by using Tableau, we can easily uh, see employee stable record and very easily recognize. So on 13 here, or 10, or uh, or the department ID 30 and here on 2007 or 10 salary 11,000. Okay. Now, here after if you want to change the record, here we can change. So, here this all color that has changed. Now, so see the color that has changed. Now, here after the next is here analysis. You can go analysis and here if you want to use the percentage on table so here you can see the percentage is there 1.01 percent and here after here you can see the different uh, employee has the uh, different percentage so at here PAM 0.93 percent and higher on 2001 okay so this is the way we can add here connect and do some uh, analysis on postly SQL database table. So here you can see analysis and special value table out, filter and many more things. Here you can use the sum of salary. Okay. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.